kids. Today, it's Science Day with Mr. Science. Yes, Randy Bartlett is going to talk to you today about science. Now, let me begin by saying I am completely unqualified to talk about science. If you want, you know, somebody really good with sci science, uh, talk to Dr. Drax or Ben Stowe. I mean, those guys are science guys, not me. But there's a little bit of science that I do know. And I want to talk about one of the most important ones that affects us in every aspect of our lives, certainly as a wedding DJ, and that is inertia. Inertia, I-N-E-R-T-I-A, inertia. It means, it's the, the law that says a body in motion tends to stay in motion, and a body at rest tends to stay at rest. It's hard to get a locomotive going. Once it's going, it's pretty hard to get it to stop. So how does inertia affect everything we do? Well, we've been talking the last few weeks about fitness and exercise and diet. And you know, we're all guilty of letting inertia get in the way. We're gonna start a diet on Monday, like, right, because my health will be important Monday, but it's not on Thursday, right? So, but we're gonna clean the garage or we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do something as soon as, but it's, it's just inertia. And we find ourselves all the time, I, certainly I do, and, and I, I know most people that I know are this way, we find ourselves in, in, we just get into these ruts, right? And so I just get up later in the morning, especially now with COVID, it's like, I don't, why am I even getting up? So you don't get up and you get into the same old habits. But the flip side of that is, and once you develop these good habits and your habit is working out every day, it's hard to break that habit. Like something gets in your way, you're like, I mean, stuff's in my way. So inertia in our daily life plays a big role in getting things done. Now, how does it play a role as a wedding DJ? But man, it's everything. Like, again, you know, people come, they, they walk into the, to the wedding reception and you have soft jazz, lovely music playing in the background and they come in and they go, oh, oh, this is lovely. You've, you've set up the inertia. The inertia is a very slow moving sort of thing. And then you get on the microphone and you say, how's everybody doing today? And they go, eh, right? And, and you don't get the reaction that you wanted because you're trying to bust them out of inertia and it's a whor you know, how you doing today is like the, probably one of the worst things you can say on the microphone. Like you don't really even care. Why are you asking that question? So if you create motion from the beginning and you have to get it started, and that begins with having cool lighting in the room, uh, maybe somebody to greet them with drinks as they, they arrive, but certainly music, right? The soundtrack is everything. So you have the, the music playing that is fun and upbeat. And I don't care what style it is. You can be doing country or hip hop or rock or pop or, or reggae. I, I don't care, but it better make you go like this. You should, it's a celebration. It's a wedding celebration, right? We are celebrating these people got married. So it should feel fun. So you make it fun. Well, now you have some motion. And now when you say, good evening, welcome to Jim and Susie's wedding celebration. They've, they're have already moving, they're like, yeah, right? You get, you create, you, you move things. That's why transitions are so important. You know, we, we put these artificial stops in and then we don't, we're not able to move things along the way we should. So you have to have a smooth transition so that you don't stop, start, stop, start. It's really difficult to get things moving. So smooth transitions to keep things so we never stop. If you'll do that early, then when it comes to dancing, then you can really rock. I just, the other day I did a uh, thing with Joe Bunn and The Vault, and you know, one of the questions uh, that came up afterwards was, what do you do when, and we always do with this, what do you do when, my answer is always gonna be the same. It's too late. You're asking how to fix a problem, right? How, you, and you do have to have some fixes. What do you do when your flat when your tire goes flat on the freeway? Well, you pull over, you change, blah blah blah. But how about check your tires before you go? Still, you know, you can have blowouts, things happen, but don't drive on bald tires. Don't drive over glass and nails and things when you can. Stack the deck in your favor. 
If you do all the things right, you can eliminate most of those road hazards that will get in your way. And you don't have to play the, well, what do you do when you have a really bad crowd? I don't have bad crowds. I mean, some are better than others, no doubt. But we really work to make sure that inertia is working for us and not against us. And that doesn't matter whether we're talking about diet and exercise, um, playing with your kids, uh, you know, working on your, your home projects, marketing, performance, inertia is everything. That's today's science lesson brought to you by Mr. Science. Somebody tell Ben Stowe that I'm teaching science.